I think I'm going blind. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like really struggling right now. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. I always say when one of my videos starts in the bathroom, you guys already know this is gonna be a self care routine and a much needed self care routine at that. I've been super busy and I'm just in desperate need of some TLC. I was in the car earlier and I was looking at my face in the car mirror and I'm like, we need to shave ASAP. There's something about that car little visor mirror. I swear you see every little flaw. I remember growing up, I'd always see my mom like open that up and like pull out her little tweezers from her purse and like, you know, pick out stuff. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Like that lighting in that mirror, I don't know what it is, but it's like, you think you get everything when you're in your regular mirror and then you go and look in that mirror and you're like, oh no, honey, we still got a lot of work to do. I definitely need to wash my hair. You can't tell how oily it is because I just slicked it back in a ponytail. My spray tan is getting really old. I need to scrub it off so we can put on a fresh one. Again, like I mentioned, I need to shave my face. I wanna do some at-home teeth whitening today. I really fell off with that. So I'm super excited. I definitely need some pampering. Valentine's Day is around the corner. So I actually went to Target before this video and got some cute like pinky stuff. I'm like, you know what? I'm in like a pink girly mood. I wanna get some like cute pink bath products and self-care products. I did vlog in Target. I'll show you guys that footage in a little bit. But before we get started, I just wanna give a huge shout out to Way for sponsoring today's video. You guys know me and Way have been rocking together for a really long time and it is one of my favorite hair brands. You guys always have so many questions about my hair, how I go so long without washing my hair, how I get my hair so shiny, and it's all Way, you guys. Way is the key. Some of the best hair care I've ever tried. You guys will see these in action during my shower routine, but I just wanna to touch on some of my favorite products. So the Way Detox Shampoo. Like, you know when they ask you that question, like if you could take, I don't know, five products to a deserted island, what would you take? Which I hate that question, by the way, because I'm like, girl, that is the least of my worries. But if I had to pick my Way Detox Shampoo, no matter what style I'm doing, whether I'm doing a blowout, whether I'm straightening my hair, whatever it is, this is my first step. It gets rid of all of that gunk built up on your hair and it just gives you a clean slate. So I love, love, love this stuff. This is one of their newest products and I'm obsessed with it, you guys. It is their hair gloss. So I'm all about using a treatment in the shower because again, I wash my hair like once a week. So every time I do, I do like to use like a good treatment. This right here gets your hair so silky, so shiny, hair on glass mode with this. So again, this is the hair gloss. Again, you guys will see me use it in the shower, but I used this the other day when you're doing that like sleek straight look or even your blowout, your hair is so silky and so pretty. Some other products that I love from Way, their fragrances are amazing. I love using this one specifically for an everyday scent. I also love their leave-in conditioner. It hydrates, detangles, and fights frizz. The hair oil is another staple for me. It's nutrient packed, absorbs quickly, and it protects from heat damage too. You guys can give your hair a glow up with Way by going to t h e o u a i dot com slash nozanine for 15% off any product. You guys know I always got to hook you up with the code so you guys can go to t-h-e-o-u-a-i dot com slash nozanine to get 15% off any product. I'll have that link down below for you guys but again that's t-h-e-o-u-a-i dot com slash nozanine. Make sure y'all take advantage of that 15% off and let's get into this little self-care night. What's up you guys? I just pulled up to Target. I have been wanting to just come to Target and walk around mindlessly, see what's new, and today's the day we're doing it. So as I mentioned, I wanna do like a little self-care night. Oh, this mom is walking by, so she has her three little girls and they're all wearing like their pink rain boots and their pink umbrellas. Oh. So like I mentioned, I'm in desperate need of a self-care night, but I wanna make it like Valentine's Day themed, super pink and girly. And again, I don't have a shopping list. I don't know exactly what I need, but that's why you go to Target because Target tells you what you need. Always gotta make sure you check your Target app before you go. Let's see if there's any cool offers. Of course my account isn't loading when I need it to going on guys are you serious i have 
Okay, sign in. Okay, I logged in. Now I can see my deals. Let's see where the offers. $10 off when you spend $50 on home care. Okay, I'll add that, but I don't think I need to buy that today. $1.50 off diapers. 25% off Valentine's Day candy. Okay, we don't really have too many fun Target Circle offers, but whatever. Let's go in and see what we find. Is it bad I want this? I don't even make waffles, but I'm about to start just because I want this. This one's cute too, but I like the other one more. Y'all, the way I would inhale these right now, and they have the white version. <gasps> oh, that looks so good. This too, you guys know I love a good Lindor truffle. This is like raspberry cheesecake, and this is strawberries and cream. How cute, they have a pink one too. I love it. These are my favorite. If you guys ever wonder what my favorite little store-bought candy is, the Reese's, but the shapes, not the regular. I will say I really do like how brands are doing like the school size um, of like healthier alternatives. Like look, the Siete chips that I love. They got the Siete brand. They have these little churro crisps. They have, this is a great brand as well. Partake and then Made Good up here. They have Made Good up here. And then Pirate's Booty and stuff. This right here is the key to my heart. I love Hue Chocolate. Let's get some clothes for the babies. First things first for my self care, I'm actually gonna get a workout in. I didn't go to Pilates today. I've been going to Pilates like four times a week, y'all. I go like two times a week, I go to regular reformer Pilates, and then two times a week, I go to Legree. I used to think it was the same thing, but once I started going to like a regular Pilates, I realized like the Joseph Pilates method is completely different than Legree. So Legree is a lot more intense. You, I would say you burn more calories and you build more muscle. Pilates is, it's still a really great workout, but Legree and Pilates, I just, I couldn't do Legree four times a week, if that makes sense. That's why I do like two times a week Pilates, two times a week Legree. But I didn't do that today, but I do also do some Pilates workouts at home using Copilot. You guys know I love Copilot. It's a personal training app. So that's what I use when I work out at home and I just put on little ankle weights and I get my workout in. Working out and moving my body really is essential to my self-care routine. Again, self-care looks different for everybody and I think that's very important to note because to some women, like going out and getting their nails done is self-care. To some women, it's chilling at home and reading a book, that's self-care. So it's really figuring out like what is self-care for you. For me, moving my body, getting my workout in really is a priority. It gives me so much mental clarity it helps me sleep better at night. It just makes me feel so much more productive. Ideally, I do like to work out in the morning, which is really different for me. I'm very much someone who used to love working out at night, but I will also get my workout at night if I need to. And again, with Pilates, it's not super high intensity, so it's cool to just do it, you know, just to help me get some stretching in and get some movement in before I go to bed. So that's on our to-do list. We're gonna get our workout in. I wanna take a bath because I wanna soak off this tan. I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I realize like I don't really love baths. Am I the only one? Like I kind of feel like human soup. I know some women love to pour themselves up a bath, get their wine, and I get that, but I don't know what it is, but like I be getting hot, you guys. Like I hate being hot and I feel like I just get so hot. But I do like to take my baths just to like soak off my tan and really get a good body scrub in and you know shave and stuff like that and then we're gonna hop in the shower wash this hair and then we're gonna move on to some skincare and whiten our teeth and stuff like that so let's get this workout in
it's giving self-care routine to be continued tomorrow because I'm actually really tired. That workout took me out. It's so crazy because back then I used to think if I wasn't like heavy lifting, I wasn't getting an intense workout. But y'all Pilates be like, I just sat for a second and I'm like, I'm actually really tired. But I wanna show you guys quickly what I picked up from Target. By the way, I got a $5 Target gift card. I don't even know what I bought that got me this $5 gift card, but that was really nice. So yeah, quick little Target haul. This was definitely an impulsive purchase, but it was so cute. So I knew I wanted to get a waffle. I tell her I was about to buy that too. No, you weren't. And I was like, it'd be cute to make it for the kids. I know, that's what I was thinking. But like, I just thought it was cute in general. Cause I want to start making like protein waffles, protein pancakes. So I thought it'd be like a good little breakfast. Yeah, I got it. It was only 10 bucks. Not me and Mel going to Target at separate times. Babe, you know I got a $5 gift card? I got one too the other day. Really? Did you add it to the account? So, babe, I did a whole pink theme with everything I bought today. Why? Honest, huh? Why'd you get all pink stuff? Because it's about to be Valentine's Day. So I got this body wash. I love this brand, babe. It keeps focusing on your face. Can you can you watch from from over I'm there? Handsome. Over there. Stand over there. Okay, thank you. So yeah, I love this brand, Saltaire, and this is the pink beach scent. You know, I don't even know what this smells like. I panicked because now Target guys, you have to like call a. I hate that. Brand. I know you have to call someone to open it for you, and there was like a line of people waiting. <laughs> These to have this opened up. So I was like, heathens. just just give me that pink one. Hold on. It just smells like it smells good. It smells good, babe. You're a man. Okay, scent? we don't trust your your judgment. What's the scent? Coconut. I guess. Babe, again, you're a man. Like you guys think teal and blue is like the same color. I got this cute pink tea. This is um cherry blossom. Wait, but it has green tea. Does that mean it has caffeine? Probably. Yeah, but it's green tea, cherry, and vanilla. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Yeah, 30 to 40 milligrams of caffeine. So we're going to save this for the morning. But it just looks so pretty, you guys. And it matched our pink theme. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm excited had to get a scrub to help get this tan off. This is pink, of course. Again, everything I purchased had to be pink. This is the vitamin C scent. I'm about to smell so good after the shower. Get this one. Oh, I actually bought the matching bath soak for this scrub. So this is their moisturizing bath soak. I just figured this would be good to help, you know, soften up the tan. I needed some new exfoliation gloves and I saw they had pink ones. So, you know, we had to get them. So yeah, they're like baby pink. And this one's not matching the pink theme, but I just got some of this smooth move tea. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that, babe? It's supposed to help you use the bathroom. You wanna take it with me tonight? Y'all, I don't know if I'm just like, I don't know what's wrong with me, but Chupa Panza, like, y'all were messaging me like, girl, make sure you're home when you take Chupa Panza. Like, it's gonna make you <laughs> This girl was like, I was in the middle of Home Depot and like, I had to go so bad. It doesn't do that to me. Like, I literally brace myself, babe. Like, I feel like the first time it happened, but then like, I brace myself after I take it and then I'm like, the Chupa not panza -ing. like. need a cup of coffee. I don't know. I think I just have like an atomic. <laughs> what? An atomic what? I don't you need know. to finish that I sentence. I think I just have a very strong like intestines. Like, I don't know. Things don't be making me have to go. She was about to say an atomic booty, y'all. <laughs> My parents always joked, you guys, like, I just don't be using the bathroom all like that. Like, even nowadays, I'm sorry if this is TMI, like, I'm drinking a gallon of water. I'm still only going to the bathroom like two, three times a day. 
Remember them kids on your bladder had you using the bathroom? On the yeah, bed? when I was pregnant with the twins. But even my parents, like, growing up, we would drive all the way from, like, Ohio to Florida, y'all. That's, like, a 15-hour drive. And my family would always have to keep stopping to use the bathroom. And me, I'm like, they'd be like, come on, let's go use the bathroom. And I'm like, I don't got to go. And my parents would be like, how? Like, you just drank, like, two bottles of water, all that stuff. I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm a camel. I'm a camel, babe. All right, you guys, after a good night's rest, I had enough energy to wash this hair. So you guys know the drill, starting out by using my Way Detox Shampoo, one of my favorite products, hands down. I love using this little scalp scrubber thing too. Don't get me wrong, my nails do a great job, but this little scalp scrubber, it just makes me feel like I'm really getting in there and getting all that dirt and gunk out of my hair. So I even get underneath like you guys saw, and then I'm just rinsing that out. I always, always, always double shampoo. And I struggle with dandruff sometimes, especially in these cold, drier months. So I like to use Way's anti-dandruff shampoo. You leave this on for about five minutes and it gives you that minty cooling feeling on your scalp and it feels so good. So taking my handy dandy little scalp scrubber, I'm just giving that a good scrub. Five minutes later, I'm just rinsing that out. Now it's time for the hair gloss. So with the hair gloss, you just divide your hair in two inch pieces. And you guys can see I'm not like clipping anything back. It's not that serious. You can just take small sections and apply a little. I, I use too much right there. You want to use a literal pea size amount on each strand. This a little goes a long way. So I'm applying it to all of my hair. And then I'm giving it one brush through just to coat everything. I'm clipping my hair up and then moving into some body care. You guys see that tan needs to get scrubbed off my back ASAP. I got it off mostly in the bath. Um, but I'm taking those super cute pink gloves and our new pink body wash and really giving my body a good scrub. I love a pair. I love a fresh new pair of exfoliating gloves. I just feel like it just hits different. So I'm just using that body wash. It smelled so good. I love the Fenty Skin Cherry Dub Body Scrub. So I do get little bumps on the back of my arms and ever since I started using that, it's severely gone down. And I think it's just by using a scrub on the back of my arms. And that one specifically has AHA, which is a good exfoliant. Going into some skin skincare I'm just cleansing using my Curology cleanser you guys know that's one of my faves and then I'm also using this exfoliator from clear stem you guys know clear stem is another brand I recently discovered and I'm loving them they're so safe for acne prone skin like again if you have very sensitive skin like me this one has my gold star of approval and this is probably one of the few scrubs I can use on my acne prone skin and not get irritated so I'm just washing out that hair gloss and then tying my hair up and now we can move on to our bath are you guys that type? Do you guys shower before your bath? If you think about it, it's probably the best to shower before so you're nice and clean before you hop in there. But as you guys can see, we're setting the mood, lighting a candle. I'm tossing in that bath soak I got earlier and it smelled divine. And then I'm also using some Dr. Teal's Epsom salt that I found under the sink. I forgot I had this. And that was eucalyptus scented, so it smelled really good. And guys, mom life, I'm using my kids bubble bath. I looked up spa music on Apple Music and y'all this hit the spot like this took the bath to another level. Hey guys, I'm just popping in while I'm editing this. If you guys watched my last video, I mentioned I left my memory card back in LA. So basically, I just talk about how I'm dealing with some fungal acne. At least I suspect it's fungal acne on my forehead. Um, I got my makeup done last week and I just feel like my skin reacted really badly to a product. I don't know what it was, but I got a bunch of tiny bumps on my forehead. So I ran over to Dr. Google and I'm trying Nizoral shampoo on my forehead, which is basically like dandruff shampoo. And that's what's sitting on my face. I have like three more minutes of leaving this on. Now we're gonna shave our face. This is much needed, it's been a minute. You know what, I'm not gonna use an oil. I'm just gonna spray my face to get it moist. 
This is Tower 28 SOS um, spray, but this is their Kung Fu Panda collab. It's so cute. I don't have anything special I do when I shave my face. Just bring it down. I'm gonna be honest, I need to get closer to a mirror to shave my face. This is way too far, but you guys can see just that little bit. So I'm gonna go off camera and like literally put my face in the mirror and I'll be right back to show you guys how much hair I'm taking out. Y'all, my facial hair is pretty blonde, so it's kind of hard to see on here. But you guys can see some clumps. I've been shaving my face for many years and I've never had an issue with Tinkle's razors. I get these off of Amazon. I'll link them for you guys down below, but they come in like a pack of four and I just keep these on deck. But I also use these to shape my eyebrows. I'll do that after I wash this off. But it's been five minutes. My God, it's sudsing up so much. <laughs> Y'all, I think I think I'm going blind. <laughs> I literally can't see, like at all. Like, why am I struggling? <laughs> okay. Y'all, I'm like. I'm like really struggling right now. Let me try to find a little towel. <laughs> Y'all, what am I doing? Like, I don't even know what I look like right now. Oh my God. Definitely do this before. I sh am I even looking? Is the camera here? <laughs> Y'all, am I not even on the camera? Okay. Do this, do this before you take a shower, okay? Guys, seriously, if you're gonna try the Nizzeroll, do that in the shower. It gets so sudsy. I'm praying it helps my forehead. Um, it doesn't burn. I saw some people are like, if you leave it on too long, it starts to burn. I didn't feel any burning or anything like that. Um, my skin feels pretty normal. I did not apply moisturizer after because I did read that moisturizing can breed more fungal acne I'm giving it that like moist environment so I'm just leaving it dry so now we're gonna do some teeth whitening this right here is the Inno Pro Eno Pro teeth whitening strips these are really great because they're made for sensitive teeth. My teeth are also sensitive. I'm just a sensitive person, y'all, all around. Um, yeah, so these are like green. So they will turn your teeth green. Kayvon's always like, mom, what's in your mouth? But yeah, they're like two little green strips. So I just go ahead and I dry my teeth first and then I apply the strips just to help it stick a little better. Also guys, I did floss off camera. So we can just go straight into our strip you do brush your teeth after this too you leave it on for about 30 minutes yes 30 minutes so i'll show you guys what it looks like so again i get these off amazon i'll link them for you guys in my storefront <laughs> when i tell you guys this really shows me how much like teeth affect your appearance like hello um i'm about to watch some tv and let this sit for 30 minutes and then we'll brush it off it's actually done 45 minutes. See, this is what your teeth looks like after. Don't be alarmed, y'all. Now you just brush it. Went ahead and scraped my tongue off camera. Now I'm gonna apply some lip balm. Hello guys, as you can see, I am somewhere else, even though I'm wearing the same thing, like the same pajamas, the same little headband but I am currently in the basement at Mel's house in Ohio and I didn't end off this video. Like I said, I left my memory card back in LA. So I pretty much just end the video in bed watching. I was watching my 600 pound life. It was a vibe, you know, drinking my little tea, watching TV. And yeah, guys, I'm just ending the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to use that code for away. Use that 15% off by clicking my link down below. And of course, I'm vlogging out here in Ohio, so stay tuned for that vlog. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye, guys.